Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Mm. Can you give me a second? Hágame un favor, háblenme que creo que tengo un pequeño problema con el audio. Hello, teacher. Good, good evening, good teacher. Good no lo está reproduciendo como debería. Déjenme ver si puedo. Algún troyano de ser, teacher. No, ya vi cuál es el problema. Ok, let's try again. Good evening, teacher. Ok, good. Thank you very much. Okay. Very good. Hi. <laughs> I'm I need to comb my hair again. <laughs> okay. Let's begin. Everything is uh is right now. So um we're going to start. First, I'm going to uh share the screen with you. If you just give me a second. There I go. Okay, it's loading the attendance list. Just give me a moment. Okay, good. All right, I'm calling your names now. When you hear your name, please let me know. Here we go. Um, let me share the screen. Okay. So we're going to begin. The first one is Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Present, teacher. Okay, welcome. Okay, um, Arles Ernesto López. Arles Ernesto López. Nope. Okay. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera Ramirez. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Welcome. Uh, Carlos Alberto. Good evening, teacher. Santos Reyes. Hello, Carlos. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. Presente, Che. Welcome. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Presente, Che. Welcome. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Presente, Che. Welcome, Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. <clears throat> Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Presente, Chair. Welcome, Ever Francis Alvallero. Ever Francis Alvallero. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O, Ayala Hernández. Ever Taristi de Soya Ruiz. Ever Taristi de Soya Ruiz. Iván Alexi Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexi Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. I am here, teacher present. Welcome. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Present, present teacher. Welcome. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Present teacher. Welcome. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. 
Good evening, teacher. I am here. Welcome. Mauro, perdón, María Magdalena Cedillo González. <laughs> Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Me he venido a saltarme. Ok, Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Present teacher. Ok, welcome. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Oscar Susana Castellano. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Good evening, teacher. Welcome, Saúl. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Oscar Susana, ya lo vi. Presente. Thank you. Okay, I'm calling names again. Arles Ernesto López. España. Ah, tenés que meterte ahí a... Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Present, teacher. Welcome. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Francis Alvallero. Ever Francis Alvallero. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Ever Aristides Oya Ruiz. Ever Aristides Oya Ruiz. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Valentín Rivera López. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Present teacher, good evening. Welcome. Okay, let's do this. Now everybody took, take a look at this. Uh, this is uh, Inglés Preintermedio, Modulo 1, and that's me, Ivan Doñang, at your service once again. And this is session number nine, and today is August the 9th of 2023. Okay, so everybody, take a look at this. Um, today we start session four, okay? And uh, here's the first activity. This is the snapshot, okay? Do you like rap? That's the first question. So snapshot, music sales in the United States, okay? So what do we have? We have some music styles, musical styles. This is the vocabulary we have to study. The first one is rock, 25% in the United States. Rap, 14%. R&B, which is rhythm and blues, that's 11%. Pop, 11%. Country, 9%. Gospel, 7%, jazz, 4%, classical, 3%, and other types of music or other styles of music, that's a 16%. So what are we going to do right now? Take a good look at this. We are going to listen to the track and I want you to identify, in this case, um, just a moment. Okay, uh, you are going to identify the types of music. Okay, the first one is jazz. The first one is an example. Let's listen. One. Can you hear that? Yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you. That's number one, jazz. With number two. Two. What kind of music is that? Is it rock? 
Gospel, classical, rap, R&B, pop, or country? If you know, raise your hand, please. Chat entry. Ever Francis Alvallero is present. Thank you, Ever. Okay, so uh, what about that one? Number two, what kind of music is it? ¿Qué tipo de música es? Carlos Alberto. Pop. It's pop music. Okay, let's see. That is correct. Yeah, that's pop music. Let's listen to number three. Three. What kind of music is that? Raise your hand if you know the answer. Anybody? Cecia? Gospel. Gospel music. Let's see. That is correct. Okay, thank you. Uh, for the next one, let's listen to it. Four. Estoy contestando preguntas de la clase. That's easy. Okay, what is it? Raise your hand if you know. Monica says she's present. Welcome, Monica. Ever Enrique. Classical. It's classical. Yeah, that is correct. Very good. Let's listen to number five. Five. Baudilio. This is rap. That's rap. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's correct. That's rap. Good. Let's go for the next one. Number six. Six. Adán Iglesias. It's country. Country music. Yeah, that's correct. That's number six, country music. Good. Uh, for the next one, number seven. Let's listen. Seven. What kind of music is that? Odilio? This is rock. That's rock music. Yeah, correct. Okay, that's rock music. Good. Okay, and uh, the next one, let's listen. Eight. What will that be? There are only two choices. Cecia. R&B. Uh, R and B, right? Now that's Spanish. R and B. Okay, R and B. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, no Spanish here. Okay, we speak English. So it's R and B. Yeah, that's correct. It's rhythm and blues. So uh, that's number eight. And there, there's other. I don't have a music sample. So Franklin de la O and Ever Taristides are present now. Okay, Franklin de la O. Thank you, Ever. Also, thank you. Okay. Okay, so that's the vocabulary. We have the types of music. There's rock, classical, jazz, gospel, country, pop, R&B, rap. Okay, so um, here we go. Let's go on. Okay, there's the second part, the snapshot. Okay, the word power. Complete the word map with words from the list. So what are you going to do here? Take a good look. You have uh, classical, game shows, horror films, jazz, news, pop, salsa, science fiction, soap operas, talk shows, thrillers, and westerns. So what are you going to do? I want you to classify the words from the lists in the three categories. And if you can, I want you to add two more, okay? So uh, you have the TV programs, what uh, words from the list can you put in the TV programs category? 
Raise your hand if you know. ¿Qué palabras van en esta clasificación? TV programs. That's the first one. Cecia, and then Ever. Uh, TV program um, sería talk show. Talk shows, yeah, definitely. Talk shows is one. Okay, Ever, what else? Game show. Game shows, okay, yeah, that's correct. There's game shows. Talk shows también, pero no está en el orden de animación que tengo. María Magdalena. María Magdalena. Karen Julissa is here. Thank you, Karen. Okay, uh, María Magdalena, ¿le funciona el micrófono o no lo el activa? El micrófono lo está fallando. Okay, thank you. All right, so um, you can put it in the chat also. Puede poner la respuesta en el chat también. Okay, María de Lourdes. News. The news, yeah, that's correct. There's the news. Good. What else? Siempre acuérdense, si ya participamos, pueden bajar la manita para que después no nos confundamos. Okay. Um, what else? Wants to participate? Let's see. Oh, there's one more. Okay. Ya Cecia nos dijo talk shows, que va a aparecer ahí también. Falta uno. One more. What is that? Ever. Western. Westerns is in a different category. But thank you. Uh, Cecia? Cecia wanted to participate. Cecia? Uh, iba a decir Western, pero ya dijo. Western. Okay. <laughs> Now, Western is in a different category. Okay. Uh, Enrique Perez? Uh, talk show. Talk shows? Uh, yes, that's correct. Uh, sí, sí, program. Lo había mencionado Cecia anteriormente, pero sí. Oh. Talk shows is one. But there's another one. Hay otro. There's another one. Yeah. What is it? Hmm? Soup so opera. Soup operas. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, there's soap operas. So no telenovelas. Okay, and then there's the talk shows. Now, if you want to add uh, more vocabulary to the bank, uh, there is cartoons also and documentaries. Okay, those are types of TV shows. Okay, or TV programs. There are game shows, news, soap operas, talk shows, cartoons, and documentaries. What about movies? What about the movies category? What do we have here? Second one, movies. Maria Magdalena. Thrillers. Thrillers. The thrillers. Oh. Okay, thrillers. Yeah, horror there's. Or okay. films. Horror films. Okay, there's horror films. There's thrillers too. Good. Maria de Lourdes. Science fiction. Science fiction. That is correct. There's science fiction. Franklin de la O. Me ganaron, teacher. Aquí iba a decir yo. Okay. Uh, they also mentioned thrillers. That's another one. Okay, thrillers. It's like action and mystery at the same time. All that. Okay. So, um, what about the next? Uh, what else is there? Maria Magdalena. Weather? Uh, westerns. Western, uh huh. Mm -hmm. There's westerns. Okay, so uh, that's correct. Now, what's westerns? Son las películas del, del oeste, verdad? Okay, de vaqueros. So that's the westerns. So those are movies right there. Okay, good. Um, and uh, Cecia? Perdón, te levanto la mano. Oh, okay. All right, uh, other types of movies include uh, adventure movies, okay, that could be one, and also comedies, okay. 
that's also in the movies category. And finally, okay, because we only have uh, uh, one more column. In music, we have classical, of course, that we just studied, jazz, pop, there's salsa, there is reggae, okay, and opera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's, that's vocabulary right there. I need to send this to you so you can have it. So what's up? Okay. All right, so what's next? Lesson objective. This is lesson objective 4.0, the first one. Uh, in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. En esta conversación, en esta clase, perdón, los participantes escucharán una conversación donde se expresan gustos. So how does it work? Conversation, I really like pop music. I'm going to play the track. I want you to listen, and then I will ask for volunteers to read the conversation loud. Here we go. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. That's it. That's the conversation. Page I need, 23. I need two volunteers to read the conversation. One, okay, Maria Lourdes. Now one gentleman, please. One boy, one man to help me read this. No le quieren ayudar, Maria Lourdes. Okay, Ever. Thank you, Ever. Uh, you'll be reading Tom's part and Maria Lourdes, you'll be reading Liz's part. Let's do this. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I am a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, thank you. So, Tom says, do you like rap, Liz? And Liz says, no, I don't like it very much. Do you? Tom says, yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. Liz says, I think I know him. Creo que lo conozco, right? I think I know him. Does he play the piano? And Tom says, the piano? No, he doesn't. He is a singer. And Liz says, oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. Supongo que no sé mucho sobre rap. Tom says, so what kind of music do you like? Liz says, I really like pop music. Tom says, who's your favorite singer? And Liz says, Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? And Tom says, no, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. So, uh, do you have any questions about the vocabulary in the conversation? Any questions no. about the vocabulary? No? Everything is clear? No. Okay, then. Cool. We continue. Let's take a look. This is uh, lesson objective 3.2. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do or does along with WH words. Al final de la clase, los participantes serán capaces de hacer preguntas en presente simple usando do y does junto con pronombres y adverbios interrogativos. Give me a moment. 
I just, uh, hmm, there's a little mistake right here. It's not 3.2, but 4.2. Okay, I apologize. Let's see if I don't have that mistake here. No. Okay, so what do we have? This is the grammar focus. Take a look. Yes, no, and WH questions with do. Okay? Yes, no, and WH questions with do. Just uh, This is basically a review of what we have studied before. There's nothing new. So take a good look. The first part is, do you like rap? Okay, the answers are, yes, I do. I like it a lot. Or, no, I don't like it very much. Now, I want you to take a good look at this. Right, the question begins with the auxiliary do. They say, do you like rap? Okay, do you like? So you have to use the same auxiliary in the answer. Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Now take a look at the second question. Does he play the piano? Does he play the piano? The answer will be yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Why do we use does? Because that's the same auxiliary at the beginning of the question. So if you see, do you like rap? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Remember that we use does with the subjects he, she, and it. Okay? What about the next one? Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Now, what kind of questions are these? ¿Qué tipo de preguntas son estas? The first three. ¿Qué tipo de preguntas son las primeras tres? María de Lourdes. There's no questions. That is correct. These are yes, no questions. Because the answers are yes or no. So, that's correct. But now take a look at the other questions. What kind of music do you like? Now, this is a different question. This is a WH question or information question because this time you need specific information to answer this. Usted no le van a decir, what kind of music do you like? Usted va a decir, yes, I do. Porque no tiene nada que ver una cosa con la otra. Okay. Listen, what kind of music do you like? And you say, I like rock music. I like jazz. I like classical music. I like uh, reggaeton. I like uh, et cetera, et cetera, right? <laughs> okay. So um, that's the thing, okay? Let's see, if I ask you the question, what kind of music do you like? Who wants to answer this. What kind of music do you like? For example, I like rock music, I like classical music, and uh, country music a little bit. I like new age music, instrumental music, and um, only that. <laughs> what kind of music do you like? Who wants to answer the question? Who can tell me? Vamos, participemos. What kind of music do you like? Cecia. I like pop music, eh, classical, um, rock en español. <laughs> okay, in English, can you say it? Rock? Ah, sorry, el <laughs> Now, how, how do you say español in, in English? Rock in Spanish, but... Yeah, you can say it. Sí, sí, sí lo puede decir. Eh, okay. Salsa. Salsa. And salsa. Okay, so you like rock in Spanish? Okay, that's good. Okay, thank you. Uh, the next question is, what does he play? What does he play? Now, you have a WH word at the beginning, so this is an information question. He plays the guitar. He plays the piano. He plays the violin. He plays the flute. He plays the drums. He plays the bass, etc., etc. He plays the trumpet. So, a uh, final question. Who do they like? Hmm? Who do they like? ¿Quién le gusta o quiénes le gustan? They like you too. Okay? 
you know, U2, the band from Ireland. So they like U2. Now, uh, another thing to review is object pronouns. Remember the use of object pronouns? You use them after the verb and after a preposition. Object pronouns include me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. All of these. So here's a grammar focus. This is just a review that we're gonna have. Uh, present simple questions. We use do and does in present simple questions. Just remember this, right? Affirmative, you say, I work, you like, we do, they have. Uh, when the subject is he, she, or it, you say he works, she likes, it does, it has. This is affirmative. But in question form, remember that you have to use do for the subjects, I, you, we, and they, and you have to use does for the subjects, he, she, and it. So you have, do I work? Do you work? Do we like? Do they like? But when the subject is he, she, or it, you say, does he do? Does she have? Does it have, etc. One thing that's very important is that in a question, the verb is always in base form. Always, always, always in base form. Okay? Este cambio solo ocurre en oraciones afirmativas y solo con he, she, it. En las preguntas y en las oraciones negativas, no. El verbo va a ir siempre en forma base. So he's asking, do you play the guitar? That's his question. Do you play the guitar? So remember, right? When the subject is I, we, you, or they, we use do. Do they like music? When the subject is he, she, or it, you use does. Does he like music? And we have to study the word order, okay? We have the two types of questions here. We have the yes, no questions and the information questions. Yes, no questions always begin with an auxiliary verb. As yes, no questions siempre comienzan con el auxiliar, okay? Do or does. So do you play the guitar? The answer is, yes, I do. No, I don't. Do your friends live near here? The answer is, yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris work on Sundays? The answer is, yes, he does, or no, he doesn't. Does it rain a lot here? The answer is, yes, it does. No, it doesn't. And then you have information questions, okay? The information questions begin with WH words like where, how often, what, how much, etc. The structure is the same. The structure is exactly the same, but the difference is the word that comes at the beginning. At the beginning, you have to use a WH word or WH phrase. And after that, it's the same. You have to use the auxiliary do or does. You use the subject and then the verb in base form. Where do your parents live? No le voy a decir, yes, they do. No, sería, my parents live in Chalatenango. My parents live in Santa Ana. My parents live in Santa Tecla, etc., etc. How often do you wash your hair? You say, I wash my hair every day. I wash my hair every other day, etc., etc. What does this word mean? ¿Qué significa esta palabra? What does this word mean? It means happiness, for example. How much does it cost to fly to Puerto Rico? To be honest with you, I have no idea. But uh, I don't know, maybe $1,000? I have no idea. So how much does it cost to fly to Puerto Rico? One thing to keep in mind is the questions with always and usually, questions with adverse of frequency. Where do they come? The adverse of frequency always and usually come before the main verb. Estos adverbs, como always y usually, vienen o aparecen antes del verbo principal. So you say, does Chris always work on Sundays? What do you usually do on weekends? And remember the question, what do you do means what is your job, okay? That's the meaning. So when they ask you, what do you do? You say, oh, okay, I'm a teacher. What do you do? I'm a mechanic. What do you do? I'm an architect. What do you do? Okay, uh, I'm a flight attendant. What do you do? Uh, I'm a store clerk, et cetera, et cetera. That's the thing. So what do you do means what is your job? And you have an example. 
What do you do? I work in a bank. Okay. Remember the short answers are always with do or does for present simple. You say, yes, I do. Yes, you do. Yes, we do. Yes, I do. Yes, he does. Yes, she does. Yes, it does. The negative form will be, no, I don't. No, you don't. No, we don't. No, they don't. Or, no, he doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, it doesn't. Examples. Remember, you use the short answers only with yes, no questions, okay? Do you play the guitar? No, I don't. Do your parents speak English? Yes, they do. Does Ryan work hard? Yes, he does. Does your sister live in Vancouver? No, she doesn't. Okay, now we have completed these exercises before, but it's always good to review, okay, the contents that we have studied. So um, the first one, write questions with do or and does. I like chocolate, how about you? Okay, the question is, do you like chocolate? Okay, how about you? I like chocolate. How about you? Do you like chocolate? What about number two? I play tennis. How about you? What do you have? If you know the question, please raise your hand. Cecia. Do you like play tennis? Mm, you are using the wrong verb. You have to use... Okay, in the first sentence, they use the verb like, I like chocolate, do you like chocolate? But in the second sentence, they're using the verb play. I play tennis, how about you? Uh, I play What's... tennis, how about you? Uh, sería como que juega, but... Mm, te tiene que preguntar si juega tenis. Uh, do you play tennis? Do you play tennis? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Jose Benjamin Gavidia Guevara nos dice presente. Asistencia tomada. Thank you. Uh, number three. You live near here. How about Emily? What's the question? Maria de Lourdes. Does she live uh, near here? Does she live near here or does Emily, you can say does she or does Emily live near here? Correct. Thank you very much. Number four, Tom plays tennis. How about his friends? Tom plays tennis. How about his friends? Maria de Lourdes. Do they play tennis? Do they play tennis? Or do his friends? Or do they play tennis? That's correct. Very good. I think I'm going to make a change here for the previous answer. Does Emily or does she? Okay, just a moment. Okay. All right. So do his friends or do they play tennis? Very good. Uh, number five, you speak English. How about your brother, Enrique Perez? Number five. Yes. Do you speak English? But the question is, look, you speak English. How about your brother? Do you speak English? Mm-mm. Le está preguntando por su hermano. Oh. Ajá. Una tercera persona. So you speak English. How about your brother? Do you speak English? How about your brother? Eh. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's you. Okay. Does? Does? 
está perguntando para os formados, teria that he uh -huh. speak English. Does he speak English? Okay. Yeah, that's right. You can say, does your brother speak English or does he speak English? Okay. Well, my name is Richard. Both forms. You can say, does he speak English or does your brother speak English? Thank you, okay. Enrique. Number six, I do yoga every morning. How about you? Maria de Lourdes. Do you do yoga every morning? Do you do yoga every morning? That's correct. Okay, good. Number seven, Sue often travels on business. How about Eric? Often is an adverb of frequency. Ya saben que va antes del verbo. Sue often travels on business. How about Eric? Mm -hmm. Number seven. If you know, raise your hand. Es lo mismo, solo acuérdese que often es una adverb of frequency, por lo tanto va antes del verbo principal. Sue often travels in business. How about Eric? Maria de Lourdes. Does Eric Often travel on business. Does Eric often travel on business or does he often travel on business? That's correct. Very good. Thank you. Number eight. I want to be famous. How about you? Raise your hand if you know the question. I want to be famous. How about you? Vamos, animémonos a participar. Salgamos un poquito de esa zona de confort. Vamos, Cecia. And then Karen Julissa um, for the last one. Okay. I want to be famous. How about you? Do you want to be a famous person? Do you want to be famous? Okay. Do you, Do you want, want to be famous? Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. that's good. Thank you. And the last one, Karen Julissa, you work hard. How about Anna? Does 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 he work hard, Anna? Um, does he or does she? <laughs> Sí, perdón. Okay. So, what's what's the complete question? Does she work hard, Anna? Okay. Si decimos Anna y decimos she, nos estamos refiriendo a la misma persona, así que solo yeah. puede ser una o la otra, pero no ambas. Does he? Does ah? she work hard? Does she work hard? Okay. You can say, Does Anna work hard? Or Does she work hard? Okay, thank you. All right. All right, for the next exercise, write questions with do or does. You have where live your parents? The question is where do your parents live? What about number two? You early always get up. What's the question? Oops. <laughs> Okay, so uh, where do your parents live? What is the second question? You early always get up. You have to put the words in the correct order. And also you have to, uh, you have to add do or does. So what's the question? Adán Iglesias. Do you wear less? 
uh, all going to get up. Do, you, do you do you all again? Do you early? Do you all early get up? Um no, no, but thank you. Thank you for your participation. The order is different. Okay, who else wants to try? Cecia. Do you always get up early? Do you always get up early? Correct. The adverb frequency always comes before the verb, the main verb, get up. Thank you. Do you always get up early? Good. Number three, how often TV you watch? What's the question? Maria de Lourdes. How often watch? How often do you watch TV? You forgot the auxiliary. Uh, how often do you watch TV? How often do you watch TV? Yeah, that's correct. How often do you watch TV? Good. Thank you. Number four. You want what for dinner? What's the question? What do you want for dinner? It's a question. Raise your hand if you want to participate. Saul Ernesto? Saul Ernesto? Your microphone? Saul Ernesto, micrófono. Karen Yulisa, number four. Pasó, me levantan la mano, pero no, <laughs> no hablan. Ok. Uh, Karen Yulisa. What's going on? Four. Ok, four. number four, yes. What do you want for dinner? What do you want for dinner? Okay, yeah, correct. What do you want for dinner? Thank you. Um, Cecia, number five. Do you like football? Do you like football? Yeah, that's correct. Thank you, <laughs> Maria. Yeah, that was easy. Okay, English. Let's speak English. Okay. Uh, Maria de Lourdes, number six. Does your brother like football? Does your brother like football? That's correct. Very good. Number seven. Number seven. Saul Ernesto. Do in your time. Can you repeat that, please? Do you do in your free time? One word is missing. Falta una palabra ahí. Um, Karen I Julisa, okay, no problem. Thank you, Saul. Uh, Karen Julisa, what do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? Okay, what do you do in your free time? Okay, good. So, the anterior nos soltaba what. Okay, number eight. What's number eight? Enrique. Lo intentaré. Okay. Eh...
I'm sorry. I think I think I had a problem with that connection. ¿Qué problem? ¿Qué, qué uh, problema le están haciendo ahí al teacher? <laughs> sí, a alguien eh, le quitó la, perdí la señal, jefatura de la clase. Perdí señal por un momento. Okay, um, I'm going to share the screen with you again. Just a yes, moment. I see. Okay. Okay, can you see that? Okay, um, Enrique, noticia number eight. I'm sorry. Do you see the goal here? Uh, your sister is a she, so. No puede ser, no puede ser tú. Das. Ajá, das. Das your sister work here. Does your sister work here? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Does your sister work here? Okay, good. Thank you. Number nine, breakfast always you have. What's the question? Maria de Lourdes, I think I'm going to open this window because it's too hot. Okay. So, uh, Maria Lourdes, please. Do you have, do you, do you always have breakfast? Do you always have breakfast? Okay, yeah, that's correct. Do you always have breakfast? Very good. Um, number 10. Who has number 10? Karen Julissa. No sé si sea correcto, pero me voy a arriesgar. <laughs> what, what, ¿qué Ay, no. What this mean this word? Or what this word mean? You need to use an auxiliary verb. What do? Mm, it's a word, so All it's right. it. Estamos Pero cerca. No eh? el it. Uh -huh. Pero tenemos this word, que es su equivalente. That's it. Me and this word? Mm. No, it's a bit different, but thank you. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. Thank you very much. Who can help us? What about number 10? Number 10. Cecia. What does mean this word? Um, word order. This word meant. This okay. word means. Yes. Okay, complete word. question, please. What does this word mean? What does this word mean? Okay, yeah, that's correct. What does this word mean? Okay, cool. Uh, correct. Number 11. In the winter, snow, it here. That's uh, it. Mm -hmm. In the winter, snow, here. Who has this one? Okay. Um, who has this one?
María de Lourdes. Does it in the winter snow here? Mm, word order is a bit different. Cecia? Espera, teacher, que se me había hecho chiquita la pantalla. Ok. Um, does it snow in the winter here? Does it snow in, in the, the winter w here? In the winter here, I will say here in the winter, but okay. Does it snow here in the winter? Okay. Okay, good. Uh, what about number 12? Number 12. Okay, Cecia. Um, do you go what time? What time? Okay, uh, that will be the uh, no, question. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. Me retiro de la contienda. Okay. Who can help us? María Lourdes. What time do you go usually to bed? Word order. There's a problem with the word order. What time do you usually go to bed? What time do you usually go to bed? Yeah, that's more like it. What time do you usually go to bed? Correct. Good. Number 13. Okay, Maria Lourdes, thank you. How much does it cost to travel to Mexico? How much does it cost to travel to Mexico? Yeah, that's correct. Very good. And the last one, number 14. Karen Julissa. Voy a intentar la última, pero voy a quitar la mano, permítame. Ok. Sería. Ay. What do you what do you have for usually for breath? Remember that the adverb frequency usually comes before the main verb. Ay. What do you for bread for bread usually? <laughs> okay, no problem. Don't worry. Okay, Cecia wants to participate. What usually do you have for breakfast? Mm -mm. No. What do you who can help us? Are you there? Puchica. 
Ah, compañeros. Todos los compañeros valientes hoy no han participado. Cada vez participan menos. Baudilia ha ido huyendo. Ya no olvidó las reglas. <risa> I am driving, driving teacher. Ok, ok. Adán Iglesias. Vamos a intentarlo ahí. What do you have usually, usually for breakfast? The adverb frequency usually comes before the main verb. What? Baudilio. What do you break by usually? What do you uh, break? How breakfast usually? No, sorry, it's different. Vamos a ver quién llega a la respuesta. Ay, no, teacher, de la ya. No, María de Lourdes. What do you usually have for breakfast? What do you usually have for breakfast? Yeah, that's it. What do you usually have for What breakfast? Do you usually Now have? look. El, el adverb frequency usually va antes del verbo principal. Esa es la clave. Cuando hay un adverb frequency va antes del verbo principal. Y ahí ya no nos perdemos. Ok. Listen, I'm going to call attendance one more time. Arles Ernesto López. Good evening, teacher. Present. Hello. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Adán Iglesias eh, tiene un comentario. O Baudilio, no sé si tiene Presente. Una, tiene la manita levantada. Oh, le había quedado. Yeah, la... teacher, you can send for WhatsApp uh, this information. Okay, I will. Don't worry. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, I'll do that now. Oops. Wrong chat. <laughs> okay, now this one. Now this one. I need to send this one to you. Ok. Trabajen en la plataforma, por favor. Everybody, uh, thank you very much, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank see you. See you tomorrow, teacher. Ay, no me puedo salir.